Hello YouTubers, <clears throat> this is uh, Infonator1 again with yet another unbelievably undecipherable, unacceptable matter of truth on reality that nobody wants to accept, or maybe they haven't contemplated it, but I am the master deducer, given enough information anybody can do this, I am no special anybody, I am nobody, don't want to... I don't want to qu quote uh, The Exorcist uh, because that's exactly who I'm going to talk about because we all talk about uh, demons sometimes and, and uh, of course uh, they perk an ear when, they, when you talk about them because uh, you know it's just like uh, inviting the vampire into your house, into your home. You have to give him permission. Uh, but in this case, this is not about permission. This is about deciphering the code the way the more advanced race uses psychology and um, psyops to give us a false reality by giving us the narrative of uh, uh, salvation and damnation uh, good and evil basically they have created the duality so that they can achieve their goals that is the main precept of, it, of all of their thoughts all of their works and they are a, a a species that subsists on um, fear and anxiety, suffering and death. If you don't see that in all of their writings and all their, you know, in the Bible, it's about giving, you know, uh, animal sacrifices. But if you go delve further, you see that Moses and Joshua killed a lot of people as a sacrifice, a human sacrifices. A lot of that, a lot of those uh, mass cullings that that the uh, deity in the, in the Old Testament. Uh, commanded were in fact um, mass sacrifices. We still see it today in war. So if Jesus is in command, boy, he's doing a, an unbelievably shoddy. I mean, you couldn't do worse than what he's doing because it's it's an inversion. When the government says they come to help you, it's the opposite. When they went, to, FEMA went to go help uh, those people over there, they they blew up the the. Uh, that uh what do you call it that little bridge that goes into louisiana and they didn't allow people to help them uh they wanted the uh the uh arena that they were in to fall on them with the hurricane winds uh you know jesus is allowing some unbelievable crisis that's why they call him the christ but let me let me get you further the, the whole point of this the whole point of this video is to compare the God of the Bible to the the jinn of the Quran. And in other words, I am trying to make a comparison uh, because they have somewhat, phys uh, you know, uh, some characteristics. I wouldn't say physical because, in some sense, they can become physical. Like the jinn can become physical, or at least they give the illusion. It could be in the mind. You know, you feel you can feel things. If everything is, uh, you know, like in the Matrix, you can feel everything because your mind is feeling it. So they can pressure point your your mind to feel something, and then that could be the reality of it. Maybe they don't have a real physical form, but the word implies jinn, and then to us Western uh, people over here, uh, genie, jinn, because uh, they're geniuses. A lot of the uh, plants are called genius because some of them in part they have a uh, maybe a um, entheogen that creates uh, more connections in your brain just like we see in the movie Limitless. Of course, Limitless was exactly what you think it might be, which was a uh, pure analog. In other words, a, a single ingredient or maybe a combination that that is required like an MAOI with uh, an entheogen. Either way, when you take these things, your brain can go into, or your conscious can go into another realm, another dimension, because we live in a multiverse, uh, meaning uh, dimensions uh, that reside within each other, but in different frequencies. So we have to understand this is a very complex universe. Um, I'm going to also make another video <laughs> about 
God using uh, uh, is God using uh, bl uh, heaven as as blackmail and um, hell as extortion. In other words, a fear uh, fear and and pleasure as a means to accomplish uh, serv servitude towards him, uh, to give your soul to, to him, give your conscious. And then he uses it just like you can see in any movie where they consume the souls and all that stuff. That's another video. That'll be, I, I think I'll do on that, on that one because I do have some excerpts from movies and maybe I can find a few more because I don't, I don't have, okay, I don't have that many. But um, I will find some. And what I'm trying to uh, deduce here is that the Gnostics, here's the, the Gnostics right here in this page, uh, contemplated that the Creator uh, is by no means a good uh, God. These Gnostics were basically the, re the re rebellious groups in and around the time of uh, Jesus uh, when he was walking around, maybe a little afterwards. I uh, see it says right here, the Gnosticism also presents a distinction between the highest and noble alien God and the creator of the material, the Demiurge. However, in contrast to Plato, many systems of Gnostic thought present the Demiurge as antagonistic to the will of the Supreme Creator. The sort of Demiurge focused solely on, on material uh, reality and of the sensuous soul in Gnosticism. The Demiurge is an emanation form of a higher pure Aeon, which is Sophia which is another, it's a higher God than the one we know of the Bible. In the system, the Demiurge is a way to understand the problem of evil differing sharply from Christianity, which sees the original...